Got another fun little project for you guys. This is, uh, got finished up cutting and welding all this thing for a couple days, fabricating it. The one they sell is a little bit different. It's got like a bar right here. I just put this because I already fab something up, but the muffler is in the way. Basically, all you gotta do is drop the muffler down and then order your hitch and bolt that up. You don't really need all this. Need a bar with plates. Um, I got angle iron, and I had to make that because I didn't have any square stock. Basically, all of this is strapped together with a bunch of pieces, and that's why it took so long. And stuff. So, it's just my little project for the time being. Um, decided to quit the mine. I'm gonna start my uh, business up again. I'm gonna be doing like handyman work. I want to start cutting trees and I'll film it all as I'm going, as I'm growing. That way you can learn with me because I'm probably going to need all the help I can get, but I'm just sick and tired of working for other people. It's ridiculous. Um, they never get credit where credit's due. They just hire the, you know, the dick smack you and the people messing around they always get the raise and the people that are working hard and busting their ass they get the dick stack so uh I'm just done I'm sick of it so uh, I'm just gonna go out and start knocking on doors and start making real money because I know I can anyway so I gotta get a hitch on here on the on the car because I don't have the truck fixed yet so I had to fabricate a hitch so I can put a 13 foot light trailer on the back so I can put a lawnmower and a little weed whacker and a blower and all that stuff. And basically the only reason why I'm doing that is to get out there. I think that'll, you know, once you get out there and you start cutting, you know, people just come up to you and they're like, hey, I need this done, I need that done, I need this. But I'm going to try to um, find out what I'm, I'm aiming towards, probably cutting trees or painting. But I want to focus on one thing this time. I don't want to do... 50 different things because every single time I um, start working on a project and I have to come back and go find a, a whole bunch of other parts for a different project and take everything off the trailer and reload it and go back out and it's the same thing every project you gotta take everything off and go find it and it's just a big scramble you just get good at one thing um, I read in some book you know you just get good fast at one thing you know, or one or two things, and that way uh, you get fast at it, and you're not scrambling. I gotta cover. Yeah, so this is it. Let's try to get you guys a better image of this guy. I'm gonna put a coat of paint on it and then bolt it up. I've already had it bolted all together and I tacked it up there and everything and it's perfect so basically you know this these will bolt up on the bottom frame and then there's a there's bolts going through with a plate on top inside the oh sorry I always do that okay so yeah there's this thing's gonna bolt up against the frame and then there's a plate on top in the trunk with with a flat plate and the bolts gonna go all the way through the the frame um, and that way it'll sandwich it together and I think that'll hold it and and really you just got got to hold it from from wanting it because it because with the hitch that's not the hitch I got I got a small brand new clean one but I just put it on there for the weight so it stays up but yeah so um, you know basically all your weights gonna want to pull down this way and with these bolts here and those bolts um, also you might not want to drill this bolt you might want to just do these two bolts because there is a hydraulic ram right here so when you hit your bumper you know because the bumpers right here and there's a metal uh, bar behind that bumper and when it hits, there's a hydraulic ram that cushions if you get hit from behind. Hopefully I never get hit behind, but I put a, a drill through there and it starts spitting out fluid all over. I never, 
I honestly, I never knew that thing was ever there. I never knew that there was hydraulics in there until I looked it up. I was like, why is there fluid in there? It smells like hydraulic fluid. I mean, I don't, I don't get it. You know, why would there be fluid in my trunk? I know it's not gas. Maybe something was leaking out. I started thinking maybe there was WD-40 like in the frame or something and then it got hot because it was, you know, sunny or whatever. But, all right, we're going to paint this guy up. And then, yeah, I'm going to bolt that, bolt it up. And then that, at least that'll get me out there and get me started. And the transmission on that is already, um, has a hard shift because it needs, I think, some solenoids and maybe an oil change. Hopefully just the oil change to do it that don't fix it then i'm gonna have to replace the solenoid so that's why i need to get that bolt out of the engine that's stuck in there out of the ford um turn the motor so i can get the timing chain off get it positioned and then put that back together i got to get a book on it just so that i can i got to get all new bolts for it because a lot of the bolts busted off the water pump and so i don't know why i'm talking from there but yeah so i didn't get much sleep but I figured I'd do a little update video. I got some more videos of uh, the, the head gaskets because the car is running. I did the, uh, a new new head gasket on the on the Buick the Sabre uh, 3.8 liter. So uh, I still gotta upload those, and when I do, I'll you to check them out. All right, I'm just gonna put a. Uh, this is just scrap paint that I got laying on the wall. I don't, the only part that's going to show is this, so I'm going to use black on that. So I got a little bit of black left. The rest of that's all hidden under the car, so it really doesn't matter. You know, I can pull it off later and paint it again if I'm really in, that worried about it. Right now, I just want to stop it from rusting, so. I got everything blocked off. This was actually the fifth wheel hitch. And there's two rails, two flat rails that kind of hump up in the middle. And this is the hump up. And I had to cut that out and that out. And it, it's basically like a half an octagon looking type shape. And then I had to do the same thing on another one. And it's really thick metal. I had to cut it with a grinder. And then I had to weld it all together. And I had to weld. And basically, I just I had to bend this, I had to heat it up and bend these flanges out. And then uh, I had to add to this, I had to make it a little bit longer with pieces, and then I had to make it a little bit higher on this side. And then I just, you know, I used a torch and, and cut a lot of it out. That torch came in really handy, so if you got a torch better than you can make your own trailer. Anyway, I need to start making these and selling them. But I don't know how many people are looking for a few of these. So it'd be a lot easier with just a piece of square stock, some angle iron, a little bit of flat bar, a whole water jet CNC cut, cutter, and you only need a flat plate on the on the back pieces. They don't need to come up like I had it, but that'll help it, you know, from shifting around. I mean, honestly, unless there was another bar, which I was thinking about putting another one of those fifth wheel bars going across here, and that would make it, you know, a little bit. And then maybe even welding another because I got I got a uh, 45 triangular piece cut on this side of the angle iron, but I, I can put another one and I can get in there with the with the ratchet wrench and, and socket wrench. So I would be able to weld another piece in there, and that would definitely sturdy it up a lot. But anyway, there's the update. Uh, like and subscribe. I'm out.